Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the Great Ball from Pokemon, the successor to the good old regular vanilla Pokeball. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You will need some black wool, some light grey, white, red, pink, dark blue, cyan, and finally, some light blue wool. Once you have every single one of those colours right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here, you'll want to kick this off with a row of six black wool in a row on the floor. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And once you have your row of six black wool planted firmly on the ground, this is what you want to do next. Come over to the left hand side of your row, and starting from the first block on the left, do an up left diagonal. And go to the left of it by one. Then do three up left diagonals, so that's one, two, and three. On top of that third up left diagonal, you want to go up on top of that block by three, so that's one, two, three, giving you a nice row of four. Once you have your row of four, one plus three, simple math to some people, not to me, go to the left of the top two blocks of your row of four, each by one. So one and one, those top two blocks to give you a Q shape. What you then want to do is on top of this upper left hand corner block of your Q, you want to go up on top of this block by a further four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then take out your red wool and still going up, go up by one. Then swap back to your black and go up by two. One, two. Then do two upright diagonals, so one and two. Go to the right of the second upright diagonal by one with your red. Then take out your black again and go to the right of that red block by two. One, two. Two. Then do an upright diagonal and go to the right of your diagonal by five. One, two, three, four, five. Then do a bottom right diagonal. Go to the right by one. Then take out your red and do a single bottom right diagonal. Go to the right of it with your black wall by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go down from that diagonal by one with your red. Then take out your black wall and do another bottom right diagonal. And go down by two, one, two. And then go left by one. And then return back to this block right here, the block that you just went to the left of, and go down further from this block by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then once you have that long row there, you then want to extend these two bottom blocks each to the left by one. Like that. Then from the, well the kind of weird shape that you formed here quite honestly, from the bottom left hand corner block that we've just formed here, you want to go down from it by two, so that's one, two. Then do three bottom left diagonals, so one, two, and three. Finish this off by going left of that third bottom left diagonal by one to give you a shape which should look exactly like this. Kind of a weird looking shape, isn't it? But that's exactly what you're supposed to have. If you guys don't know or if you can't remember for some reason, on the Great Ball you've got those two big giant lumps of red like going over the top of the great ball, that's why it's such a messed up shape. And that's why we have the red. So once you've reached this point right here, and as always, pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that of course, it's now time for us to crack on. We're going to make the center part of the pokeball where it opens and where you've got the push release. So come over to the left hand side of your great ball where we have this Q shape here, or at least it used to be a Q shape, it's not anymore. And from this block of your Q, hopefully you guys can see the block that I'm talking about, you want to go right of this block by three, so that's one, two, three, like so. 
You then want to extend this second block down, this one right here, down by one. Then extend this third block down by two. One, two. Then do a bottom right diagonal from that second block. And go to the right by two. One, two. Then do an upright diagonal. And go up by two. One, two. Then do an up left diagonal. And go left by two. To give you this sort of shape right here. And as I said, that's just the slit in the center of the Pokeball. And that's also the push release. Or at least, I, I that's what I'm going to call it. I'm pretty sure that's exactly why it is. The push release. The big center button shape on the ball. So, once you've done that, this is what you want to do now. So... Coming to the right hand side of your push release, from this bottom block of your free right here, you want to go to the right by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then coming all the way over to the left again and going right of this center block of the right hand side of the push button thingy, you want to go to the right by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You then want to go up from this sixth block by one. Then go to the right by one to give you this sort of shape right here. And once you've done that, you have successfully completed the whole center outline part of your great ball. All we have to do now is some coloring in, which just as I did on the regular Pokeball, I'm just going to do the coloring in and then show you guys the end result because I have a really bad feeling if I try and do it along with you guys, it's going to end really badly. It's going to take me about five hours to explain and not to mention the fact that it'll be really infuriating and you guys will just be wishing that I'd just shown you the way that I'm going to show you now. So I'm just filling the whole bottom of the great ball in and then I'll show you guys what it looks like so there you go that is exactly what you want to have for the bottom portion of your great ball there's just a little bit of light gray splashed around and everywhere else is just white wool and especially for the center release button thingy very simple dark or oh, not dark gray light gray in every single corner and white wool everywhere else all right so once you finish the lower half of your pokeball it's now time for us to move on to the upper half so we're going to start on the right hand side first because I think it's ever so slightly harder. I'm going to be doing it in a similar style to how I've just completed the bottom half however I am going to give you guys measurements. It's going to be a little fast though so coming over to the upper right hand side of your great ball starting with this red wall that we have right here just placed underneath this black you just want to go down from this red wall by two with your red. You then want to come up to this black wall that we have going right of this red wall and go down from this black by five with your red so one two three four five now coming up to this red wall all by its lonesome you want to go down from this red wall by six and i don't really have to count that out we just went down by five so we just have to make that row one longer on the bottom now, coming down to the bottom of the row of six that we've just formed, starting with the bottom block, you want to go left of it by three. One, two, three. Now, you want to go left of the block above it also by three. And then the block above that, go left of it by one, like this. Now, coming down to this bottom row of four that we formed with our red wall, you want to extend this block down by one, like so. This is all of the red that exists on the right-hand side. All we have to do to the right-hand side, once you've finished with that red, is add in a few details with some dark blue and some pink. The pink will do now. And you know what, we'll do the dark blue as well, why not? So, with the pink, you just want to place these free pink wool right there in those positions they just hug the red they should be really easy to place now the dark blue is slightly more difficult however it is kind of really easy to see where you have got to place it and i'm just going to place it and show you guys the end results i figure this will be nice and easy as i'm kind of splitting it up and showing it you in sections i don't think any of you guys will have any trouble with this so that is exactly what you want for detail on the right hand side of your great ball all of that color 
right there. Once you've done that, we can now move over to the left hand side. As I said, I think this side is slightly easier. So, coming up to this red wall that we have on the long left hand side of your great ball, you want to go right of this red wall by two with your red. So, one, two. Take this first block and extend it up and down by one. Take the second block and go up by two, one, two, and extend it down by three, one, two, three, to give you this shape. Now, with this long shape that we've now just formed right here, you want to take the second and third blocks coming up from the bottom and extend them each to the right by one. Take out your pink wool and place two pink wool in these positions right there in the upper left hand corner of your great ball. Now all we have to do is place some dark blue and also we've got to add the little gleam that exists on the great ball. However the dark blue is kind of like the right hand side, it's really easy, it all sticks to either the outline or the colour that we've just added to our great ball. So you want to take out your dark blue and you want to add dark blue in those positions right there. Again, I'm not going to try and explain any of it to you, however it should be quite easy to see exactly what I've done there. Once you have added your red, your pink, and your dark blue, this is what you want to do now. So where we have this little shape here, these little two spaces, fill this space of two with light blue. Then go right of each one of your light blues by two with your white. Now basically just go all the way around your white with your light blue. However, you don't want your light blue to connect at all. You just want it to literally be on the... I'm sorry, I touched my microphone. You just want the light blue to be on the outsides of the white like that. And that is the entire left-hand side done for detail. So once you have completed that, all we have to do now is just zip all the way around the great ball and colour it in with cyan wool. I don't know whether I've made this tutorial harder or easier by doing that slower, but hopefully you guys should have no trouble doing that in any case. It's, it's not too difficult, but I wanted to uh, make sure that you guys can actually really make this and get this for yourselves quite easily. And there you go. Once you have completely filled the entire rest of the area in with cyan wool, you should be left with something that should look exactly like this. Your great ball. I really do like the Great Ball, by the way. I think this is probably my favourite. I think this is the best done out of all four of them. By the way, perfect time to mention it. If you haven't seen in your subscription box, I'm making four of these. They're all getting uploaded at the same time. I'm making a Pokeball, the Great Ball, obviously, the Ultra Ball, and the Master Ball. What I consider to be the four base standard balls, what have always been there, my four favourites. If you like the Great Ball, feel free to check out any one of the other three. Hopefully you guys have managed to make this easy enough without too much trouble. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.